there are all kinds of treasures lying on the bottom of the ocean. But those are not gold coins or ancient amphora. Some might consider this trash, but they're gravely mistaken. UA TV tells about sea glass that inspires hundreds of craftsmen around the world to creativity. Fort Bragg, California, a small coastal city that is considered one of the local historical attractions. An ancient Native American settlement was once here. After that, there was a military outpost and a convenient post for the transshipment of logs. However, this is not the reason that this place became famous around the world. Since the beginning of the 20th century, residents of Fort Bragg were for decades dumping their household waste right into the sea, including broken containers and tableware. Sometime later, the shards, ground underwater, started washing back up to the shore. Today, there are still three glass beaches at Fort Bragg that attract thousands of tourists from all over the world every year. Every one of them takes at least a handful of this sea glass as a memento and a decoration for their household. It turns out that such treasures also exist in the Black Sea off the shores of Ukraine. This glass is everywhere and everyone who comes to the beach picks it up because it has an aesthetic appearance. But then they don't know what to do with it. I make stained glass from sea glass gathered on the beach, ground by the sea to this rough frosty appearance. Katerina Shalihina lives near Odessa, a large port city in the northwestern part of the Black Sea. This Ukrainian craftswoman was the one who started making truly sophisticated, creative and very diverse stained glass crafts. I know one woman in the UK. I also found a competitor in Japan, though to this day I haven't seen anyone who creates such works on the same scale as I do. Next, how Katerina turned a beach hobby into her main source of income, how the technique of making stained glass from sea glass is different from the traditional one, and how the work of the Ukrainian woman is turning into a new form of street art. UA TV invites you to take a walk along the Odessa beaches together with Katerina right now. There are different kinds of glass by the water. Sea glass has a rough frosted look due to the effects of salt. Beach glass is glass shards that have been in fresh water bodies and they're more transparent. Black glass is the rarest. It is pieces of bottles that were thrown into the sea many centuries ago. There are many collectors in the world who collect any form of such material simply because they're attractive artifacts. They have large closets filled with jars of sea glass. There is a very interesting project where people find some very characteristic pieces of glass of bright colors. Then they find some glass craft in local antique shops, something like a perfume bottle. After that, they take a picture of this shard, find a whole piece of glassware from antique dealers, buy it and combine these two elements to make a final artistic product. Katerina never thought that this could be an art form until she moved to a village near Odessa. She immediately noticed that there were quite a lot of these ground fragments on the local beaches and started collecting them. I always say that when I first found sea glass, I became totally obsessed with it. So it kept exciting me and I continued to collect it. All this time, it seems to me that I had to create something using the sea glass, as if it was my calling, even though I had never been a craftswoman and never knew how to make anything. Katerina made a living by copywriting text for websites. The fact is that copywriters have to engage in exhausting intellectual and creative work every day and for many hours, often without sleep. I really fell in love with this profession when I first discovered it for myself. I got deeply involved in it, enjoyed it, and I found it so cool that it paid enough so that I could make a living to survive. But in the end, I eventually burned out from the never-ending hard work to the extent that I started hating it, and now I am concerned as I don't know what to do further. To distract herself during apartment renovation, Katerina tried making mosaics from the sea glass she collected. She liked that, but she wanted to make the frosted glass shards more clear. Thus, the idea to create stained glass windows was born. Very soon, Katerina's apartment became filled with a variety of different products. It became clear that I couldn't keep up this expensive hobby. I realized that I'd made a lot of things and there was nowhere to put them. So I had spent all my money on solder, foil, a good soldering iron, 
and all the chemicals that I tried when selecting fluxes. I scoured flea markets for nice lamp frames. Basically, at some point it became clear that I needed to start selling, because I was spending all the money I had earned into this venture. Katerina posted her works on social media, but they didn't attract much interest. She recalls that some users even accused her of selling trash. Everything changed when the craftswoman created an English-language website page. Our people even sometimes message me asking why no one is making such beautiful things that you create. I don't know, maybe it's considered cheap, uncool and not prestigious here. Maybe this trend worked in the West because this is recycling and is environmentally friendly. Maybe not everyone sees its beauty. Be that as it may, after Katerina's success in the English segment, her works became more and more popular in her homeland, and gradually people no longer considered sea glass art some kind of trash. Especially for UA TV, Katerina gives a masterclass on when is the best time to go looking for ground shards on the beach, the unique features of the Tiffany technique for this material, and generally speaking, how it is done. No one knows for sure, but it is believed that a bottle thrown into the sea usually spans from several months to dozens of years in the currents. What is interesting is that a similar effect can be achieved artificially, using a rock tumbler. But such glass shards don't have pockmarks from grinding against rocks. This means that experienced collectors can easily spot a fake. I go to the same three beaches where such glass can be found. Sometimes I go there after a storm thinking I can probably find all kinds of decent material there. But no, I only managed to gather a handful, and I think this is it. The currents have turned, sea glass no longer gets washed ashore, and this is the end. But then I go there on a different day, and I gather such a huge quantity of sea glass that I can barely drag my bag home. Chances of finding sea glass are naturally higher near cities and on beaches with no breakwaters. Shards will definitely be washed ashore in such places. Only four main colors of this material can be found in Odessa. Green and blue. More or less light colored, also white, while brown ones are the rarest. You can look up on the internet how glass beaches can look, what shades there are in other regions abroad. Yellow, bright, red. Very alluring and beautiful, like lollipops, but we don't have that. However, sometimes I find rare shades. And I have a box where I store pieces with the most interesting texture, pattern or color. I have very few samples of these rich blue ones so far. I only found one such yellow piece over all this time. And I must admit that I have been searching for and collecting sea glass for about 10 years already. Before starting work on another stained glass window, she needs to accumulate at least one and a half to two times more material than the physical volume of objects of such dimensions, so that she has something to choose from for her work. This is a Tiffany stained glass window, a classic technique. Louis Comfort Tiffany invented it. The glass is not soldered, metal is soldered instead. This copper foil, called folia, is a thin copper sheet with an adhesive layer similar to adhesive tape. Each piece of glass is wrapped in a frame. It needs to be rubbed with a wooden stick. Each piece of glass is rotated and fitted very tightly, so this foil would further hold it like a frame. This technology comes from a famous family of jewelers and has revolutionized interior design. While before that, you could only see large stained glass windows soldered with lead in churches, Tiffany refined this art and made it more accessible. He became famous all over the world for his stained glass lamps, so Katerina started with those. The American craftsmen worked with new tailor-made and cut glass pieces of a diverse palette. Katerina does it in a completely different way. People buy expensive glass of different colors, then cut it with a glass cutter into fragments that they need. They grind the edges on a special grinder and then wrap them in foil. In my case, everything is both simpler and more difficult at the same time. I don't need to grind because the sea has already done it for me. The edges aren't sharp, the glass is matte and perfect for lamps, but I don't choose the shape. I don't cut glass by principle, I only choose pieces like it's a puzzle, only I don't know whether I'm going to have the elements that I need for this puzzle. 
Simply put, each work of Katarina is an improvisation. This is why she needs more pieces for the creation of the next craft, because she might not have the pieces of the right shape. Nothing actually prevents Katarina from cutting sea glass, but it is the personal preference of the craftswoman. Each work has to be a challenge and has to differ from the others. Most often, she puts glass pieces around a template that she makes prior to that. I have already soldered a stained glass peel on it, but then I don't solder it to the end, when the shape is sophisticated. I keep this seam, then undo these two halves and remove the template. Then I solder a single piece of stained glass so it's transparent. I use lead-free solder for jewelry and ordinary solder for lamps and figurines, namely standard tin and lead. This cat is the pride of Katerina Shalihina. It is the most complex stained glass sculpture that she has ever created. It turned out that to make such a tail, it had to be reinforced from the inner side, otherwise the structure would collapse under its own weight. In the end, the stained glass cat took a month to finish. The craftswoman offered it to the owner of one of the Odessa art galleries. It turned out that the sculpture looks the best outside. Especially during the hours when it is hit with direct sunlight. Katerina made her first cat a slightly simpler one for a major city art project. I have long been obsessed with the idea of making a street lamp or something in the city, like street art. Then I got involved in the project Cats of Odessa and made the stained glass cat that's standing in the Victory Park in the pond. It was my first cat and the project manager Anatoly Kavun helped me a lot. He helped me install it. He got permissions from the authorities for its installation. A ceramic piggy bank became the model for this cat. Katerina decided to install another similar sculpture on the beach, where she usually collects sea glass together with UATV. To make it sturdier while preserving transparency, the craftswoman filled the figurine with epoxy resin. As a fastener, Katerina uses a fast-setting cement mixture for anchoring. Just a few minutes of waiting and the cat has firmly taken its place on the rock. Most often, products made by this Ukrainian craftswoman end up on the west coast of the US, so it seems that this is the Ukrainian version of Fort Bragg. One of the most famous sea glass beaches is in Hawaii. The glass is very beautiful and bright there. But someone ordered a candle holder from our dull Odessa glass, and I sent one there. That's also really cute. I have interested people in Australia, New Zealand, Japan, and many European countries with my glass art figures. <laughs> Katerina says she could have limited herself to a very small assortment that would have been in constant demand, but she's afraid that she will get bored of making the same things again. I have so many ideas that I have not tried yet. I have not yet tried everything that I would like to in this craft. Recently, Ukraine began producing drinks in blue bottles. Katerina is already looking forward to finding their fragments on the coasts of Odessa, as her new stained glass craft could take on new interesting shades.